Using the right engine airbox is actually very easy. If you want to turn it on, you do a two second long press on the power button here. It'll turn on and show you the last maximum PSI you use. If you want to change that maximum PSI, you can use the plus or the minus button. Uh, this will tell the pump when to stop. So the pump will stop pumping by itself at the maximum PSI that you choose. So make sure you choose that wisely. Once you're ready to inflate, you can just do one simple push on the power button. And if you want to stop it, you can push it back again. Although it's important to note, the pump will stop by itself at the maximum desired PSI. Now you heard the sound. It was the sound of the high speed, low PSI motor, which means this motor will work from zero to one PSI, then it will switch to the stage two motor, which is a low rate, high pressure motor, and this one will bring the pressure all the way to your max PSI for your inflation. When you're done, the pump will stop and turn off by itself, or if you wanna turn it off yourself, you can do a long press on the power button here, and then the pump is off. By default, when you turn your right engine air box pump on, it will be on an automatic setting, meaning that when you start inflating, it's gonna start with the high speed, low pressure motor. When it's reaching one PSI, it will switch automatically to the high pressure motor. You can actually tell the pump to do that manually. So if you hold for three seconds, the left button, it will switch into an FAN mode, meaning that it's only gonna use the high speed, low pressure motor. It will not go into the stage two motor. If you want to only use the stage two motor, you keep pressing that. It's gonna to go to CPA mode. That means it's only going to use the slower rate, but the higher pressure motor. And if you wanna go back to automatic, you have two choices. You can either hold it again, it will go to automatic mode, or you can simply turn the pump off and turn it back on and it will go back into the automatic mode by itself. One thing to note here is you can actually choose the maximum pressure either in PSI or in the metric system using bar. So in order to toggle in between the two modes, you have to use the left button here. So when you push that button, you can choose a maximum PSI, or if you push it again, you can choose a maximum bar. So you can use either imperial or metric for your maximum pressure.